Um, I try to go every other me um, sorry. Um me oh. try some call yeah, 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 um, um I feel me no bia um but sometimes um because me um Frank at twenty um there's a period that uh, I say five years but um December ya na me fi gana by yeah or uh, last month January na me fi gana by yeah okay okay I asked a question me echo ye. Mm. Awo wa habat eko ye, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, Thirty-one years. Ah, so yeah. Mm. Me buy ni me di nine. Mm. Yeah. Wow. What you want? Di pa. Oh yeah. Mm. The grandmothers of, of 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 other people came hey, here. Pa chow, yeah. <laughs> what brought you here? How did you come here? Uh, me ma me ni me papa. Yeah. No buy. And no buy. Mm. Yeah. 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 So why you not even experience on Ghana life experience be like a crap? Well, for me, my friends say because it's a make us say make us say Debbie, uh, but um, midi in fee midi twelve years now. Me ma me deme ba Ghana, ma me be cool school Ghana for about one year, and I'm baby him, and I'm ma me send him ma me call Ghana. <laughs> Beautiful, uh, because um, no say mufra bonisem, but not mufra bonisem, but no say I say ope say to get like Ghana experience, yeah, yeah. and also um, ebusia, um, me kwa kote na mene na nomu change ni adi, yeah. Okay. Now um, I've talked to some people here. I must say. So, oh yeah, your color will be now high mm. in school. You're, uh, you are being bullied, you mm. face racism. What about uh, nine years schooling and life for 31 years? Have you faced such a thing? Um, yes, uh, it's here, um, on a, a waha, um, but it depends on how you tackle it and also how your parents tackle it. Um, because, um, of um, my experience, no, any any na na ye racism. Some of them no a ye um as a ignorant and um, ignorant on the part uh, of the people or more or, or, or me affected no? Ignorance on the part of the white, white people okay. because some of them no a be a TV so no one who one say ye ni pana I say be a was racist ka come on with you no. Inti na juni mo no. I said they won't need any 
perspective um, of how <laughs> the young crew motifa and I view um Africa um safari ni ade. Inti um, most of it is mainly ignorant because ni ami hu inti se mi ma eni mi ma mi insu try no se um, so if you who point it children and you try to have a dialogue with them uh, you find out say um, most of it is ignorance but um, some of it too is not ignorant some of it is I to say if you are, let's say Ghana um, some of the tribes if you are <laughs> now I'm back now if you are who say Ubi fi hase na upe se udine ni keke. It's also part of it, um, of my experience. And um, um, as a racism is there, but I wouldn't say um, all of it is um, because of racism. Mm -hmm. um, there, there are other factors behind it. How is Abrabo in Denmark for you? Um, your for my experience, it's been quite good. Um, I came at the age of nine. I've been in school. Let me buy me call junior school and I went to college and I went to uni and um, I decided to <laughs> when I like when I, I had my first daughter and then um, in, I thought in uni. In, um, actually a year before I finished and then I finished and I went out to get a little bit of work experience and then um, combining like work and motherhood I thought of being a stay-at-home mom but then I thought of having a hobby at the side and then I started gradually at home and then it just exploded from wow. there um, so so who taught you these things um, partially by hobby and then um, I came to Ghana um, doing one of my maternity leaves and went to Abrante College okay. but mainly um, from the age of I'll say 14 um, I'm sorry Na I say man, cause I'm a bomb iti, and I me a sorry, man, me phone on inu ano me I don't know. We be musi me try say me mo unti ma unti. It started from there as a hobby for myself and um, um, breeding on like my church sisters oh. and aunties here. Um, so. So after you need, what about now here? Um, I've well, I'm educated as a dentist hygienic. Mm -hmm. Um. And no, yeah, and no, to be seen here now. And no, yeah, and no, yeah, and yeah, and no, yeah, yeah, but I think, um, sometimes as well, um, you want to explore, um, other territories, um, or because I had this, you know, I started at home and then it just got a life of, it, of his own and then I've been doing it since. So. Yeah, yeah. Again, I live in Denmark. Ah, uh, Oye Onwa Ejuma. Establishing business here in Ekwana. What is the process that also will go through before you be able to set up a business? Well, when time I'm you know, um, you just have to register like in Ghana, as a mother Ghana, so I'll be a business. Yeah, see, as I said, called <laughs> general registry. Yeah. And then, um, register um so you just um you fill a form like when you are, um, i think ghana offering national security number a business also has i think ghana is a 10 number it's a number yeah. yeah so here as well you just fill it and you get that when you get that then you you start but actually you have um a grace period of being able to earn ten thousand dollars without um being registered but you have you, you are taxed or you have to Register it with a tax as how you are taxed when you are employed. So when you reach the ten thousand dollar limit, then you have to get a tin number. Oh, I see. Uh -huh. you, ten thousand. I'm, <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, yeah. Do you have ten thousand now? Want me any tin number? We want me any tin number, no, but it's not advisable. Um, mm. If you say. Um, Okay, sorry. Um, uh, no, you you put me your tin number, but the processing of getting um, an accountant because an accountant costs money um, is too costly. Um, um, so it's not advisable to get a tin number because you just um, 
if you don't have a TIN number um, at the end of the year on your tax um, papers, you just write Sika Unyai or Sika Utongoni Man Unyai. It's a saloon. Mibo tea. Mibo tea. Mibo tea. Me relax. Me okay. hair, hair extensions. Okay. Um, color and a me tree. Uitri. One of you. One of you. Are we back? We back. Let's watch. What's going to be to you? Oh, I say. Where's the location before I go and break? Um, it's at Norabro, Copenhagen. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Can you see Copenhagen? Norabro, Copenhagen. Yeah. And uh, my name is Sister Etia. Me, oh, okay, we'll be in the TNA. We'll be back to see ya. Hey! Okay! Hey! Okay. Hey! No grace gifts. No entry. It could be some person. If you are a dear, I'm not full. What's your name? No grace gives you her back. No entry. Some of you are going to see what to rate. Men who are like it. Now, what a branch will make us some more. Who knows? I'm not a good one. If you are a man, I'm a grace gives you her back. And it's a science. Chinchin, honey, I'm a doctor. Doctor Grace, what do you want to give her back? So we is happy quarter, acha cha. Any mumwa, daddy be obesa. Malaria, hypertension, ulcer, stroke, oba na bema. We here we obema or top nada. Just say daddy be. And what you miss? Yeah, no be be do a chimota. Petrol um eya. Grace Gift Herbal Clinic. Mo. One phone number is zero two four six five one eight zero zero three. And a zero two four four one two six one two three. I'm still here in the shop. It's really already here, dear. Obi, so be. I'm okay. trying. <laughs> oh, me me Zain fell is about the baby meeting. Okay, maybe I'm the many a Angela and buy and say Angela and buy. We don't be finiti as a obonti ya. Two no, how will you do it? Well, um, it's mainly after appointments, and my schedule is normally booked. But if you come in, um, I, I normally fit it in, and if it's booked, you have to book a time and come back. So yeah, you are mostly busy. Yeah. Maybe I will be shaving everything. Be shaving my body. Yeah, I can do everything. Put you out of shape. Um, <laughs> well, I went to school to learn it, and also it's an interest, or yeah, something that interests me. So, um, mm -hmm. and I've had a barber in here before. You don't want to chill. Then I'm I'm an acquire. But have you have you thought of? I mean. Expanding the business. Well, I have um, Nami workshops too, okay. um, and uh, uh, we're about eight. Um, but um, you need strength. Um, it's not about the money, but you need strength to deal with people because business is not only about money. You can have money running in, um, but if you start. Um, if you can't carry the load, especially when you have a family. And for me, when things start spilling over to my fa to the family side As and like you have to uh, hey, because it you more of a time you don't get time for your family exactly and then when you get home you're moody and yeah. work is <laughs> <laughs> so um when that start happening um i start cutting off bit by bit and then um you know i've been taking different routes like renting out chairs and stuff um, so I do have people coming in in um, in and out, uh, renting chairs, and working with me. But um, I've just for me, what works for me now is um, to do it on my own. Okay. Yeah. And see, chairs not renting, what you? Um, at the moment, I have a vacant chair. I don't have anyone who is renting it. Oh, okay. So. And see, if you if you say renting chairs, I know so we we go. Eh, I know so we go. I'm a bear wedding go. Couple hair getting. Mad. I'm not a chair bear. And then we're gonna rent it out. No, 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 not chairs for weddings. <laughs> <laughs> no, like these two chairs. Oh, no, 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 so no. I'll be using one one chair for my clients. Okay. Then I rent this chair out to another beautician. That's okay. what I mean. Not okay, chairs. Okay, okay, okay. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. That's okay. what I mean. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
How has it been for you? How, for how long have you been doing it? Um, for 16 years now. You don't say it. Mm -hmm. Full time. 16 years? Yeah. How has it been? It's been a very, um, I say it's been a good journey. Um, it's had it's had it's down uh, down in the sense that um, when I expanded, I wasn't able to carry the load. Um, but I've been able to maintain this until the time comes for me to expand when my kids are grown and how many kids? Four. Four kids. Yeah. Well, wow. first one. How many years? Uh, she's eighteen now. Oh, okay. Now yeah. that's one. Yeah. Four. Oh, okay. Yeah. Until Omubana, I said. Am I just here restricted, restricting your man? Okay, never again. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so uh, what's it? Uh, yeah, how many in Fabian? Copenhagen and Nurbu, right? Yeah, Nurbu, Nurbu. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Nur or Nur Ghana for you can Nurbu. Yeah. Nurbu. Nurbu. Okay. Yeah. So, so I, I was asking, in when you banana, I could say, am I restricted? How how fast you work here? Uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, how we how we able to combine the two, being a mother and doing this business? Well, you do it with the strength that you have, and also like the vision and what you want to, or how you want to raise your kids, because the high ubi krumu and to say Ghana, ibi even Ghana crowd uwo ubi abe kwa kujia umufrana and to say uwo uwo ho, because the kids are exposed to different things very early compared to Ghana um, and also um, like the system's eyes are on you when you're a foreigner um, or being a, a parent as a foreigner um, the system's eyes are on you in a different way so you can't just leave your kids um, mm -hmm. other than that they will be taken away from you so yeah do they help financially in taking care of your kid no. Oh so, uh, well, um, we have this thing called. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I know. okay, we have this thing called um, children's money that they give to um, all parents. Um, but I wouldn't say it's uh, money that you can live off <laughs> mm. <laughs> because um, when winter comes, the suit that they wear alone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it's like um, they chuck in money, and um, it's also different when you're married compared to when you're single. Mm. But even that, I wouldn't say that is something you can speculate in or build your finances around. Um, it's a help, but it's not something. Um, Does the system yeah. help in opening businesses? Because Oko elsewhere, I'm also. So many taxes, mm. so many rules are uh, it kills the vim and vigor to open business. Yeah. Back home, you pay tax and then no other use of tax for. Yeah. Uh, so that the system <laughs> help. Oh me, I, mean, I pay tax. Yeah. I'm tax now I'm like, hey, I'm like I pay yeah. PYE, I pay me as I income tax, mm. I pay other taxes. Uh. Yeah. But does the system help? No. Um, the system doesn't help uh, you don't get any help uh, to start a business but sometimes they do like um, sessions like when you start a business or at least when I started I don't know if it's still there but like to they do um, sessions where you can um, uh, they do sessions where they teach you about taxes, okay. um, they teach you about the infrastructure of running a business in this country, mm -hmm. what you have to keep an eye for, the do's and don'ts. Um, that's it. Oh, okay. Um, are other people also coming? Well, I'll say um, this place is very international. I have Ghanaian clients, Kenyans, Ugandans, Chinese, South America, mm. Danish. So um, I'm not limited to a specific nationality. Um, so that's the good part of it. Okay. Yeah. But Ghana for Nebaha. Ghana for Baha. Okay. Anyone who didn't come out, I think we do Belgium, I'll say, me damn pet Ghana for Muko, Ghana for Casabodo. I'm going to go to Gaza. Pacho, no, Pacho, but 
Yeah, in Concorsa, we'll be abroad for the Concorsa thing. Um, uh, Ghana for um, tea. Um, I think you have to, you have to be a knower of people, or you have to know know the different people personality types. And um, again, is is this is a saloon, so you don't take anything personally. Yeah. And um, yeah. Before I find mm. is a business here in mm. Denmark, yeah. do you have to be a citizen? No, but you have to be a resident. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Yes, I want to meet Oprah to her. No. You have a nice place. Oh, thank you. You have a nice place. In the end, I don't know if you well, she is better than black, so I have a lot of But I have a lot of the US and England. Okay, yeah. so tell us something years of living here and 16 years of, of operating this mm. business. Have you thought of also opening a branch back home in Ghana? Uh, no. <laughs> no, but um, and yes, I mean, per se, me boy or Ghana, but because you have to, you have to be, I say, as a wife, you need that at the back or so at a time. Um, and um, and yes, I mean, per se, me boy or Ghana, but um, I don't have a foundation there, mm -hmm. um, even though my aunties in Ghana have, um, like encourage or they say that in the future I ought to, um, yeah. Is it financially costly to set up? It is. Do you know be a bit more It depends on how um, I think eager you are, and also knowing the system because um, if you've got a good credit score, you can get help from the bank. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, a place like this, rent much on a monthly or again at times on five years, four years, three years. Yeah. How is it like over here? Here you pay monthly. Monthly. But you have to put a deposit down. Um, and also I got a good deal uh, with this place uh, that I bought it to start. Well, it was, um, I'll say it was a challenge, but I'm glad that I did it. That um, it was a business property, so I bought it initially because I got a good deal with the bank when I was starting, mm -hmm. so... Um, so you've purchased this particular place, not right? Yeah, no. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you still pay, um, you, you have still have the monthly... Um, Bills? I'm not supposed to say that on camera, do I? Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. But, but is it, is it, is but, it that expensive to acquire a shop here? Well, if you're buying it, with, again, if, if you see it as investment, you don't see it as expensive. Because in the if you look at the long term um, benefits of it, because in the initially it's costly, but ten years along the line, you you you'll be way ahead. So, me hona me fibana, Ghana hona. Oh, shop say ya. Ubutre, ubutre, uyitre, uye saloon. I mean, you they train people. Yeah. Uchina mafo. No. Not yet. No. Because I, um, I like it. Okay, well, there are certain stresses in life that are necessary, but there are also certain stresses that are unnecessary. Um, and at this point in my life, that is how I choose to run the business. Um, Okay, do, mm. uh, if any of them want to follow your legacy, will you advise the person to do that? Yeah. Oh, it's this guy. Mm -hmm. Now, what's wrong? Beyond can't you say bridge my five? Let me say, time I open up. No. <laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> because, like today, for example, um, I start at seven thirty in the morning. So. Um, so um, yeah, you're your own boss, but your customers are your boss mm -hmm. because when you've got clients and you have to book them in um, and you also have to, you know, you have a target you have to reach, you know, you have to work. Sometimes I'm here till 10, sometimes yeah. midnight. Wow. Um, you start early and you finish late. We are very busy. Um, yeah. Making all the money. You see? Mm. But Mambusi. it's necessary. Mambusi. I hear nothing more. Um, the, the corona. Corona. Uh, so, corona, no coronavirus. 
<laughs> oh, 10,000 krona is change. <laughs> me, Mary Matia, me J, 375 krona. Which is, which is around 300 something Ghana cities. Um, yeah. Uh, that's Merima, and Mia is six fifty. Ubu uh, three bakwa. They be Ujia. 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 Uh, six fifty uh, kroner. Uh, which is a little over six hundred fifty Ghana cities. Uh, Why the mm, huge difference? Um, because this well, we can say that it's easier to cut men's hair compared to women's hair, but that's the market price. There's a huge pride difference between cutting. Um, if I show a man I'm more than I come to sponsor you girls, eh? First, come to Denmark, we share three here, we be three. Now, one day says fifty, but we have a drop on air too. I got thousand kroner, which is a little bit about over a thousand Ghana cities. Kakra, wow, yeah, and I'm with three. Me put here a from thousand eight hundred and fifty kroner, thousand eight hundred, almost two thousand kroner, yes. For three back uh -huh. <laughs> but also twenty five percent of it is tax. You have to you know, mind you that okay, so yeah. classes and only uh, not only but the the tax uh, when you do business, especially service, um, there's a, the VAT is twenty five percent. So wow, it's a good business you're doing here. So how busy are you here? Let's say a day. How many people are you able to work on? Well, it depends on what I'm doing. Um, if I'm doing hair extensions alone, it could be weaves. I could do like five weaves a day. If it's braids, I could do two. Okay. Two braids a day. That's five hours. Five hours. Um, well, some of it is like three hours. Oh, so. okay. Oh, okay. Okay. In fact, maybe I'm not No problem. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for talking to me. Oh, you're uh, welcome. Your contact in case somebody wants to book you. Or how, how do we book you? That's well, you can book me um, by calling okay. um, or via Instagram or Facebook. Okay, so give us yeah, your Or contact. email. Um, so if to call is 0045 5078850. Okay. And then on Facebook is Naya Beauty and on Instagram Naya Beauty as well. Okay, spell yeah. Naya for us. N Y A H and beauty but there's a dash in the middle oh, that's good. yeah no no dash, dash. yeah oh, okay so it was nice talking to you nice talking to you too. <laughs> but now i'm relaxing and we're done yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah so i mean i'm just like i said oh this huge salon over here and okay apart from it in our bond on a uh, we eat, you know, uh, weeks now. What other things do you sell here in case someone wants to come and buy something here? Well, sell wigs, hair creams, lotion, shampoos, conditioners, um, hair extension, hair, uh, mm. hair for crochet, and makeup. Oh, you makeup, so come on. Yeah, tongue makeup. Oh, tongue makeup products. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, mm. we sell black opal products. Black? Black opal cosmetics. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for opening your doors for me. Oh, you're welcome. So. Many years are Felix. Bye bye. The terminal is currently our flagship project. It is a huge project that is going to be comprehensive in nature to cater for um, residential and commercial activities. It has industrial enclave, it has enclave for schools, it has enclave for central business district, it has an enclave for um, anything that you can think of. The terminal possesses it.